serious music now. Um, the album that we are going to be talking about for this week is Margot Price's brand new album, Strays. Uh, so Strays is the fourth studio album by American country musician Margot Price. It was released on January 13, 2023. So Eric, thoughts on Margot Price's new album? Uh, so I actually never heard of Margot Price before. What? So Really? I thought yeah. she was famous. <laughs> Uh, apparently she is, and I've just been living under this rock <laughs> that I had no idea. But I actually enjoyed this album. It kind of reminded me of a little bit of like a Fleetwood Mac oh, shit, mixed yes. with like a bit of country. And, and uh, like, I don't know what it was. Like, I, I just really en- I, I enjoyed it. There were some songs that are, were on here that I'm like, that's a bit of a weak song. It doesn't belong here. Mm. Um but like the opener was good it, and and i just love that like 70s rock like mm-hmm. like guitar solo like i was just like oh this is sick and you don't usually get that in country music so um i'm very very intrigued to see uh, like you know her other albums cuz she's she's got a, a little bit uh but i i actually didn't mind this album i thought it was really well produced too yes yeah my one question for you on this one is like how country is this like would you consider this like good country or is it too far out from the genre that you wouldn't it just has country elements but it's not a country album because when i listened to it i was like this is not really country but i could be wrong about that no i i would i would that's a good point to bring up because it did have more of a like classic rock feel to the album than it did a country album Mm -hmm. uh like there were songs that made it country enough but i i yeah it's hard to say Mm. it's hard to say like i i would actually agree with you i would i wouldn't consider this a country album yeah that was that was my only thing because i went into it thinking okay it's gonna be like a sort of uh more modern country not like a big stadium country but like folk country that's sort of what i went into this uh, expecting but it ended up being a bit more like yeah like that classic rock more fleetwood mac it would probably be the best Mm -hmm. example um for me i don't know i found this record really challenging myself like Mm. all the time the whole time I was listening to it, I was like, this is definitely like a Lana Del Rey type of album. Mm. Much better than Lana Del Rey. But at the same time, it's like I'm getting a bit bored with like these songs. There were definitely like really good spots, but overall mm-hmm. I was just like, uh, this is such a struggle to listen to. I feel like like we've had albums like this too, where I, I feel like the top half is better than the bottom half. Mm of this uh if you agree but i i feel like the opener song uh been to the mountain it's like perfect it kind of like has that jam element like like it almost is like i was watching like a live band and they're jamming and you're just like oh what song are they gonna play right and they, you're they're kind of teasing with the audience a bit um that's what it kind of reminded me of which i which i really dug um but there were songs on here that really for me brought the album down um i want to say hell in the heartland was one of them yeah that one was a bit whatever i felt lydia like like if you're gonna make a six minute song right like i feel like it should have some more intrigue in it but i felt like it was just the same very linear um but i i didn't mind this album like i I didn't hate it but there were songs on here that i found myself skipping i was like all right i'm done listening to this yeah i i think if you really dug into like the lyrics and everything i think i would have more enjoyment so maybe like you know two three weeks one month like into it maybe you might i might have a more positive opinion on it because like there's a lot of songs in here that actually have like personal meaning or like social commentary because i think change of heart specifically is like roe v wade like it's a commentary on like abortion and, and pro-choice and all that. So like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of like good social commentary on this album that if you dig really deep, like you can get to, I think, but like just from a purely just one week listening experience, it was like, eh, I, I'm, I'm ready to move on from this album. I can't like force myself to listen to this. 
So, mm-hmm. um, I don't know. Maybe we'll we'll get into final thoughts and ratings for for this one. Yeah, I mean, it's not an album that you could really like deep dive into it because it's like almost like a generic like pop country kind yeah. of vibe. But it did have I I did did dig that feel of uh, Fleetwood Mac, which kind of made me like intrigued a lot more. So I would say this album's a solid seven out of ten for me. Oh, okay. I'm not too far from you. Um, I'm giving it a six out of ten because it's definitely like it's a decent enough record. Like there's definitely like heart and soul to it. It probably mm-hmm. just isn't something that I would ever listen to again. And that's the thing. Like I probably wouldn't see myself listening to this. I kind of want to listen to her older stuff to kind of like I'm more intrigued about that. Mm. But uh, but yeah. Nice. That's all I could say. Nice, nice, <laughs> nice. All right. Well, that was uh, Margot Price's Strays. Uh, for those of you following along with us, uh, the album that we're going to be listening to and discussing next time will be Mona Skin's Rush, their brand new uh, album that's coming out. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so I think it's called, it, they're pronounced Mona Skin. Uh, not Man- are they or not? Oh, Maniskin. I thought it was Maniskin. Oh. Yeah, like it's spelled Maniskin, but the the accent on the A, I think it actually makes it Monaskin. Okay. Yeah. So. I know it's an Italian rock band, mm-hmm. and when we went to Italy, they just love this band, like, yeah, <laughs> hugely. So I'm actually really pumped because I I actually like this band. I think they're great. Uh, they do have one of the singles on there that I can't stand. <laughs> <laughs> but I just skip it. So I'm excited to listen to this album. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Uh, so that's our show. I mean, we'll see if we have a, a podcast next week. And who knows? Twitch cancels. Yeah. Us. Once, once we upload this to Spotify, maybe it's just like, Oh, sorry. You guys are all dead to us now. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that's basically it. Uh, this is the Crossroads Music Podcast. Uh, let me get rid of the image. Crossroads Music Podcast. We are a weekly music podcast. We're here every Monday um, at 10 p.m. ET, 7 p.m. PT here at twitch.tv slash the Crossroads Music Podcast. Um, listen to us on Spotify, Apple Music, all the places where you get your podcast. Join the Discord. Uh, come yell at us. Tell us why we're wrong about all the things everything. we said on this whole about podcast. Everything. <laughs> um, Colin's gonna make sure we're canceled for next week, so yeah. we're all good. <laughs> um, and Tommy thinks that we're gonna issue an apology, but we're not. We're not issued an apology. I stand by everything I said tonight, exactly. regardless of how wrong. Ninety nine, baby, <laughs> we're going down. <laughs> All right, oh. perfect. We'll catch you all next time. Thanks for tuning in. See ya. Peace. <laughs> you bad. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine? Could you imagine?